Hey everybody, Retropie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you around the favorites features on Retropie. I'm going to show you how to access the favorites collection if you aren't currently able to see it amongst your regular game collections, as well as show you how to go in and add your favorite games to this collection. This is a really nice feature to take advantage of because it will eliminate the need to constantly search through your game collections to play your favorite games. Once you add your favorite games to this collection, you'll be able to easily access these games every time you fire up your Retropie console. All right, so in order to get started here, we need to first make sure that we are able to find our favorites collection. Usually it's going to be, if you're using the RetroPie Guy game collection cards, it'll be two options over from your landing page, which is going to be the RetroPie configuration settings page here. Depending on which theme you're using, this may look totally different, but the layout should be the same. So two options over, you can see here, we have the favorites edition. This is just how it looks on this particular theme that we're using but nonetheless, it is two options over. Now, sometimes depending on, again, which card you're using, if you're not using one of our cards, you might not be able to see these. So if you aren't able to see your all games, favorites, and last played collections, it's a super easy fix. First thing we need to do is hit the start button to open up our main menu. We are gonna jump down to game collection settings here, select that option, and you'll see the first option here says automatic game collections. And it says over on the right hand side, three selected. So if we open this up, you can see that we have our all games, our favorites, and our last played collections here, and they are all checked. If you aren't able to see these on your regular layout, it's likely because these aren't checked. So you just have to go in and check them in this case, they're already checked. We're able to see them, so everything's good. But again, if you aren't able to see them you know, with all of your game collections, it's just because they're not checked. So go ahead and check them all. Um, you can actually just go down here and hit select all. It'll automatically fill those in for you. And when you back out of this, it automatically saves upon exit. So we're gonna back out of all these um, menu settings here. And now we're going to jump into some games just to show you exactly how to go ahead and add them to your favorites list. So on this card, we actually have a favorites list already uh, put together, but I'm going to go and add a couple other games just to show you this process. So let's go into PlayStation. I'm going to select this um, 007 The World Is Not Enough game. And I'm going to hit the select button. The select button is going to pull up the options here. We're going to go down to this bottom option, which is edit this game's metadata. So we'll select that. We have all the information here for this particular game. So we're going to actually scroll almost all the way down here where it says favorite. You can see if we look to the right hand side of this option, it says off. So we're just going to select this option. We can hit the A button on our gamepad controller. And we'll see that that now turns to on. Once it says on on here, we're just going to go down to save, select save. It'll take a couple seconds there. And now we can jump back out by hitting B. And if we go over to our favorites now and open this up, we can go and search for this game and make sure that it's on here. We can actually do the shortcut here by hitting select and we will navigate to the zero for 007. We can select A, and we can see now that that game is right here. So I'm gonna jump out just so I don't have the audio from those previews drowning me out. And I'll walk through this process one more time. Let's jump into, uh, we'll jump into N64 here, and we'll go to A Bug's Life. Same thing, hit the select button. That's gonna pull up your options. We'll go down again to edit this game's metadata. Select A, scroll all the way down to favorite, select favorite, select save, and we are good to go. Let's jump back out, make sure that it's saved over to our favorites game collection. This is gonna be A, so we can just scroll down. There it is right there, A Bug's Life, N64. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. Super easy tutorial here for a super easy process, but I recommend taking advantage of this feature because it is a really convenient feature to utilize on your RetroPie game collection card. Just saves a ton of time, makes everything so much more convenient because obviously going through some of these game collections, you know, to look for specific titles, even when you're hitting select and jumping to letters, it can take a ton of time. You know, these games are just packed full of 
um, so many retro video games on here. So the list is endless. It's just super time consuming to navigate through there and make your selections. So hopefully this helps you out. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button on the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of tutorials like this, gameplay demos, product reviews, ton of different content on here. So definitely subscribe. And of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.